what's good chat um, back at it with another MBM garage showcase I got three cars I quickly want to show you guys that I've been working on uh, I say quickly because I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this showcase done that way I can go ahead and um, finish up the other builds that I'm working on but as you can see right now we in the 76 glass house this is actually one of my first builds uh, I ever made Still a super clean car to me. Got the Corleones on it. Super dope car. But uh, let's get straight to it. As you can see, I was at the tattoo shop. Uh, I'm making my way to the garage. for this car man at a car show we got first place so I always ride with the trophy but anyway man let's get straight to it as you can see right here we got a 1996 Camaro on some dub floaters MBM motor license plate uh, got the LSX badge it is engine swapped I'm not a badge or nothing open the door for you guys right quick as you can see I got my phone posits in the back seat just in case I'm, I gotta catch a hoop run or something uh, let me pop this truck open real quick Oop, wrong one. as you can see we do have a Q-bomb speaker set up in the back as well so um, with that being said I am gonna add in a, uh, a radio it's gonna be the last touch I add to this Camaro I'm gonna put a radio in there that way you can just get a touch screen, touch pad, updated radio to go with the uh, speaker box. But this is engine swapped. Obviously, I dropped the LS1 in it. Um, the floaters do work. I ain't going to drive the car nothing too much. I just wanted to show you guys that. Give you a quick sneak peek under the hood. I got uh, more pictures of my discord so join up the discord if you want to see some more detailed pictures like I said I don't want to make this video showcase too long got the dub floaters uh, this is like a replica inspiration build but we'll get to that at the end of this um, showcase and then also obviously the convertible is extra you can drop it down and put it back up so I'm going to leave it down and then let's move straight into the 1996 Yukon. As you can see, MBM motor license plate on the front. Sitting on some nice Corleone forged rims. Got a huge speaker setup back here. Um, let me show you guys this first. I think it's the left door, right? Yeah, left door opens the window. So as you can see, um, sundown audio whole speaker box set up and then uh, when I hit that trunk you can fully see it see the amp and everything obviously they ain't drop all the way down because I'm real close to the garage but I just wanted to show y'all do got do got some bass in the trunk um, take a look inside this is a modern interior swap as you can obviously tell a very modern interior swap and uh, it does have a Kenwood radio it turns right in there as you can see um, I got a lean cup in here and then um, if you look that is a, a cookie batter za pack right there so in the cup holder you got a lean cup and then in front of that you got the little za you know just in case somebody want to roll up got it all for you uh, honestly this is one of my favorite builds this isn't a replica or anything just something I came up with. I had a stock model, had some parts I hadn't used. I'm like, you know what? Let's see what I can do. And that's what we came up with. Scooted up just a little bit. Rim shining. That chrome is hitting perfectly. You can change the interior. Obviously, I got it painted red to match the exterior. I'm gonna go ahead and hop out of this. And then we're gonna get straight over here to the 87 
Silverado with the gold trim. Um, it is sitting on some Dayton's, as you can see. You can see it. Got the Dayton's on there. Uh, damn, I'm crawling. Yeah, this is a dope car, man. This is my first time actually doing a C10. I know a lot of people do like the box trucks, you know what I'm saying? So, it was fun to build. Let me open the door right quick. Let you guys see inside. Got the lean cup tucked in. Obviously, we swapped the seats out. And uh, that's a 89 Chevrolet um, steering wheel, if I'm not mistaken. Might be an 86, either 86 or 89, but that's the... Um, steering wheel we're gonna use that Chevrolet on it super clean build though if you ask me obviously I'm a little bit biased because I made it super dope though y'all gotta let me know um, what your guys favorite build that I showcased to you guys today is for me it's between this uh, Silverado or the GMC honestly when I see the Silverado on this angle it's definitely growing on me a little bit but um, that two door Yukon man you can't go wrong with that two-door super nice and the f-bodies man they've been growing on me like i said I'm, I'm definitely starting to like the f-bodies more and more this is only the second one i've built you know so hopefully you guys like it hopefully you guys enjoy it but um let me go ahead and show you guys just real quick uh the inspiration for some of these builds so uh go right here as you can see um obviously this is a t-top I have a drop top, it's a T-top, um, and the rims are a, a bit different, but overall, you know, like I said, this inspiration build is not an exact replica, but it is pretty close, so look at this real quick, and then, obviously, I just dropped the top down, but, like I said before, it is a convertible, it ain't a T-top, but it's, it's pretty close, man, it's got the LSX badge, too, um, I'm going to use this more often when I LS swap cars because I actually do LS swap quite often. So I'm going to be adding that to some cars. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this inspiration slash replica build. And then last but not least, like I said, this is a um, replica right here. And uh, the inspiration I took for that is this is a low rider um, C10. As you can see, it's on the day end. It's got the gold bumper, the gold trim. And then obviously that wine red paint. Um, I think I got it pretty close. You guys tell me, man. I didn't lower it because I personally don't like lowrider cars. So, to be honest, I have two versions. I have a version that is a little bit closer to the replica. And it's, it's lowered. Um, it's more for low riding. And then I have this regular setup right here where it's kind of squatted. That's what I prefer personally. But let me know what you guys think, man. Did I get it close enough? And then last but not least, like I said, this isn't a replica or anything like that, but this is something I came up with, uh, my own creative mind. I like red, so red and black, you can't go wrong when you paint it with that color. Um, obviously, everybody likes a modern, you know, interior swap, of course, and then you gotta have some bass in the trunk, especially with a truck this big, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. Like I said, I just want to showcase these three bills that I got done this week, so... We got the 87 Chevrolet, uh, we got the 96 Yukon, and then right here we got, last but not least, 1996 Camaro Convertible. So uh, in the comments, let me know your guys' favorite car that I showcased today, and then if you guys have any suggestions for a car you guys want to see me replicate or something, let me know, and I'll try to make it happen. Uh, I like replicating cars a lot. It helps me practice more in Z Modeler. So uh, I'm open to all suggestions, you know what I'm saying? And then last but not least, I already showed you guys this, but I'll show you again because it is one of my favorite builds. Got the 1996 Caprice Glass House, also on Corleone Forest Rams. Um, today I'm actually doing a giveaway also on my Discord. So if you guys aren't in there, make sure you join up. Don't want anybody to miss the giveaway. And I will be doing more giveaways in the future. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it from NBM Motors, man. Like I said, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what we've been doing. I know it's been more than a week since I posted my last video, so I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. But, um, yeah, that's
that's it, man, for this showcase. I'll tap back in for the next one.